All right, hi folks. <clears throat> this is just like a blog type video. I'm just gonna chit chat about some stuff and then show you some stuff. Okay, um, this is gonna be a video briefly on wineries and then about breweries, just as into like things they've done or not done for me. Okay, one time I had this wine product and it comes in a box. So I'm not opening the box in the store or anything. And like every other thing that I've ever bought in a box, everything's there. Well, the product, the bottle ended up being broken at the bottom, no liquid inside, cap was not even broken off the rings, and the box was even dry. It would be really obvious to see if a human would look at the bottle that's broken and no liquid in it. I told them online. They never wrote back to me. Now, on to breweries. Okay, um, I didn't buy this. It was a gift from, like, it was bought, purchased, and given to me. The steam whistle set. You get two cans of steam whistle and their uh, boot glass that they call the leprechaun boot glass. Well, I pour both beers into it, and um, as I'm drinking them, we get to the point where there's just the liquid at the bottom of the boot left, and it sounded like all of a sudden that sound like if a little pebble hits like your windshield on the road. And I look, and it got a crack lying in it. So. I mentioned that the steam whistle online, and like within a week, they sent me a replacement boot in the mail. Then with Mill Street Brewery, um, one of their beers once, when I poured it, a little dead bug came out of the beer glass, like it went into the glass. So I wrote to them online and just told them how one of their beers when I was pouring it, I had a little dead bug come in the glass. And whoever responded to me asked for my information, and I got in the mail a free... Uh, Mill Street t-shirt. Now, I wasn't expecting to get things like breweries just want to do things for me. They gave me a free Mill Street t-shirt and then they gave me these two vouchers. Can't use them for the prize that stay at the brew pub. Can't use them at the liquor store for the cans and seasonal sets that are there. But at the beer store, it allowed both both the vouchers each allowed either the one drink that was in can there, four of them, or I could get a six pack of the bottles of that drink, which is the organic lager, or there was like four other six packs you could choose from. So, you know, it, they decided to let me get some free beer off them for that incident. Then there was another brewery. I just mentioned to them how I took all the wax off the cap of their one beer, and it was a really dark beer. So, as I'm drinking it, right, in a different room from where the wax was taken off, after I drank most of it, I had to take a little piece of wax out of my mouth. And when I told the brewery that that was for, they didn't do anything for me, and that's fine. But they wrote back to say how um, the wax is put on after the cap, so that shouldn't have happened. So, hey, at least they write back to me. But now, folks, into Bo's All Natural Brewery. Oh, something they did for me is so, so awesome and amazing. Thank you, Bo's All Natural. Thank you so much. Okay, so last month, I bought their Hop, Hop Bison beer called Wave the Wolf. Now, they like to bottle their beers months before they're like put out and stuff. So it was bottled back in February. The beer is supposed to be unfiltered and have a certain taste to it. I checked some online reviews of it. Saw what it looked like unfiltered. What the card said to expect? Yes. Other people in the reviews were saying, I'm tasting those tastes. When I went to have mine... It looked filtered. It looked so different. And every single taste that the brewmaster, the brewer says that I get from it, I didn't taste any of it. So I mentioned it to Bose online over on Facebook, right? And um, Laura at Bose wrote back to me um, mentioning how they could uh, send me some stuff in place to that. So they just needed like the batch number that was on the bottle, the date that it was brewed, put it in the bottle, and then they need like, my information and everything. And now, according to Bo's All Natural's website, I'm not in the delivery area for where they can deliver. But they asked me to give them my email, my address. So I emailed them, gave them my address, and it sent, uh, and then they wrote back to me, which caused um, them to tell me that someone else was going to write to me. So in Hotmail, Laura, and then someone else wrote to me, and there's a distribution for Bo's. That's still a distance away, but a lot closer than the actual brewery itself. So they've sent a driver out 
from somewhere to deliver a package for me since I had bad batch of Wade the Wolf because it was supposed to be unfiltered. Mine was filtered and the taste that they said to get, I didn't get. So for starters, I just got the little invoice here. It's got the actual brewery's website and their phone number, has today's date, has my um, address on it. Um, I didn't have to pay anything for these. It was all 100% free. I just had to uh, grab it from the guy and no special like truck or anything. He was using like some Penske delivery truck or whatever. And they put it in their four pack thing. There's like some letter or something that I have not read yet and saved it in the video because I'm doing this moments after I got it, folks. So there's a letter thing here, I guess. Oh, Gmail. Oh, nope, this is not a letter. Oh, okay. All this has is um, today's date showing 9.56 a.m. And they just have my phone number circled. And then it shows the administer and sales support person's name that I gave. Yeah, they just copied the email. So it was a, yeah. Christina is the administer and sales support for an area that will distribute bowls. That's not the brewery, but it's still a bit of a distance for the traveling. So, four beverages. Let's see what four beverages I got because I'm a bad batch to wave the wolf. Start with the ones in the back here. We have a mad sleepy time Belgium style Belgium style imperial stout. I've already drank this once before. It's a nice stout. It shows you nice Belgium strong, extra strong ale type tastes, and you get a nice Belgium taste with it. Like, like you know, you get the Belgium extra strong and Belgium strong ale taste and a stout taste. And it's from the Wild Oats series. It's number one, and it's 8% alcohol. So this will be my second time with it. Oh, one sec. I want to show you guys something else. That I don't have right next to me. I was wondering which one they sent me because I recently bought another Bose and it's wrapped up the same way. So I'm going to show you what they gave me and then the one, the last one I bought. It. Then, then we have here. Gilgamesh old ale aged in rum barrels. So this is an 8.9% alcoholic old ale aged in rum barrels. 30 IBUs. Packaged 02 18 2014. Batch 3103. Local spring water, organic barley malts, organic hops, and yeast. Then they sent me the Tom Green beer at 5%. It's a milk stout. This will be my third time with it. Because um, once they started sending some Bose products into where the city I live in this year, due to what selection was available, I picked it up the one time. There goes our other seeds to get the stuff. And then the last one that they sent me is Channel o Ocho, I guess it's called. It's Wild Oats Series number 41. Now, um, the milk stuff from Tom Green is 5%. Local spring water, organic barley malts, organic oats, organic lactose, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. I might take both of those stouts and maybe mix half and half together one day to see what we get. And if I do that, maybe it comes a video. I've already had these before, so they're not for reviews. The other stout... Local spring water, organic barley malt, organic roasted barley, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. Now, this last beer here, folks, is a special one. It's Channel Ocho. Um, Channel Ocho and the Old Ale. I don't know if they go into the stores, those ones, but I've never seen them for sale on the shelves. So they might be brewery only beers. This is Wild Oat Series number 41. It's an 8.9% alcoholic beer. It's a Mexican spiced ale, because the idea is it's supposed to be like a Mexican hot chocolate. Huh, long list of ingredients, folks. Local spring water.
water, organic barley malts, organic hops, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa nibs, organic cocoa powder, organic chipotle peppers, organic cinnamon, organic cloves, and brewer's yeast. Um, 03-26-2014 is the date that they bottled this one, and it's almost a whole entire bottle. So, a beer that's going to have uh, the alcohol and the cinnamon and hot spices give you a warmth. So, in conclusion, that's four beers from Bose because I had a bad batch of Wake the Wolf, and they were all free from me. First person to talk to me from Bose was Laura. Her idea and maybe some other people's ideas. So thank you very much because the Tom Green beer is the cheapest one, um, almost five dollars, and um, that rum one was like almost ten dollars, the most expensive one. And now the last beer I bought from Bose, it was another really high priced one of theirs, nine something, and it's wrapped similar. It's their Ashan wheat wine. This is the last one I bought from them a little while back. It's 9.8% alcohol with local spring water, organic wheat, and barley malts, and organic hops and yeast. And it's aged in um, Chardonnay barrels, it looks like. So I bought this one, but the other four is what happened to my bottle of Wade Dual. They offered me some free beer, so not right from the actual brewery. Itself. That would take an even longer travel, but from a distance away, but closer than the brewery itself. There was a distribution area apparently from Bose, and these four beers, two I don't know, and two I know. So thank you very much, Bose, Laura, everybody there, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace.